This is the story of the greatest cover-up in history. Its masterminds are our church leaders. Its target is the American people. And its purpose is to conceal a dark and deadly secret. Because, according to the final chapters of the Bible, Obama will not finish his second term. He is the 44th and last President of the United States. And our country and every American citizen are about to face its greatest tribulation. From an enemy crueler and more powerful than ISIS, Al-Qaeda, North Korea, and Iran combined. The church will not say a word of this because it will cause panic and despair among all faithful followers of the word of our Lord. This ancient prophecy is encrypted within the visions of four men, chosen to give a very precise and terrible warning to all true Christians and patriots. Therefore, before going any further, I must warn you, what you are about to see is deeply disturbing. Because you are about to see how all the world leaders, their armies, and even financial institutions are silently playing their part in the lead-up to the greatest and darkest event in human history. Most importantly, you will see the exact reason why this prophecy will come true before the 1st of January, 2017. But first, you need to know just who I am for making such shocking statements. My name is Alexander Kane. I am a theology professor working at one of the largest universities in Arkansas. I earned a doctorate degree in theology and ancient history, and I have spent 19 years of my life studying the ancient scriptures, trying to solve one of the greatest mysteries of the Bible. And it all started with one simple question. How come America, the world's only superpower, the greatest evangelical nation on earth, is not even mentioned in the Bible? After all, as we know, the Bible accurately predicts so many other historical events. The two world wars, men reaching outer space, the rise and fall of communism, and the return of the Jews to their homeland after centuries of exile. This question haunted me until one day, by chance, I made a startling discovery that connected all the hidden clues. Because the church teaches us that among all the other historical accounts, the Bible tells the story of ancient Babylon through the words of John the Apostle in the book of Revelation and through the writings of the prophets Jeremiah and Isaiah. According to the prophets, Babylon reigneth over the kings of the earth. It was a queen among nations, and the lady of kingdoms. It was called the hammer of the whole earth, and it became a center of trade, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. It was the praise of the entire earth, and an astonishment among the nations. And according to the church, all this happened a long time ago to the ancestors of current-day Iraq. But if this is true, why do the prophets speak of pollution, since there was no pollution in ancient times? Because thou hast destroyed thy land, I have polluted mine inheritance, and given them into thine hand. Babylon will reach space as it mounts up to heaven, and raises its throne above the stars of God. How could an ancient nation reach space when flight was only discovered in the 20th century? Thou art weaned in the multitude of thy councils. How could Babylon be a democracy weighed down by its huge government when we all know the state of Iraq has never had a real democracy? Babylon is a coastal nation with deep water ports and many rivers. Most of Iraq is a desert and has very limited access to the sea. O oh, that thou dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures. The country that can fulfill all these descriptions is obviously not ancient Iraq. The only nation that reached space, has become the world's only superpower, is a democracy with a huge government, a mighty military, pollutes its land and sits on waters abundant in treasures, is the United States of America in present times. But what else do the prophets say about it? Its beginning was unique and awe-inspiring. The U.S. was the first state to break away from the British Empire. America was created out of the former British colonies, a nation made out of many states just like the prophets foretold. We speak the English language and we are the descendants of the first British colonies. That is why the prophet Jeremiah describes England like a mother to the U.S. 
in verse 50, 12. According to the prophets, the mother of Babylon has the symbol of the lion. The royal symbol of England is a lion. Even the name Babylon or Mystery Babylon is deeply symbolic. Ancient Babylon was a city made great by people who came from all parts of the ancient world. Just like immigrants helped make the United States the world's only superpower. And because the prophets didn't know of the existence of the North American continent at the time of the visions, they called it Mystery Babylon. Babylon is also called Daughter of Chaldea. This is another clue based on the geography and the history of the United States. Chaldea is an area located in the Middle East that was inhabited by Semitic tribes during the time of the prophets. Today, the people of Israel are the most powerful descendants of the family of Semitic tribes, and the U.S. is home to the largest population of Jewish people, just like the prophets foretold. The fact that Jewish people helped the U.S. become the world's only superpower is not secret. 48% of American billionaires are Jewish and have made their wealth in the U.S. contributing to its rise as the world's only superpower. Therefore, the daughter of the Chaldeans is in fact the United States. This is again very, very precise. What about the personification of Babylon in the scriptures as a woman? This clue is one of the most obvious. The scripture says this woman sits atop water, has a golden cup in her right hand, and a crown of seven rays on her head. And the woman which thou sawest in the great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. The United Nations, in theory, reigns over all the kings of the earth and is situated in New York, the great city where you can see the Statue of Liberty, which is the most well-known landmark in the U.S. and the symbol of Babylon the prophets are referring to. So why then are they also calling it the Whore of Babylon? The key to this clue lies in ancient Roman mythology. Libertas in Latin, Liberty in English, is the name of the ancient Roman goddess of personal freedom, especially in sexual matters. She was referred to as the mother of harlots by the famous Roman historian and senator Cicero, and she is considered the matron goddess of prostitution. This means that the Statue of Liberty is actually a statue of a pagan goddess of sexual freedom and prostitution. Therefore, it's no coincidence that the U.S. provides 65% of pornographic movies and adult entertainment to the world and is the country where sexual liberation originated from. It's just like the Bible said, Thou art given to pleasures, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. It was written that at the end times, Babylon turns upon its heritage and destroys all the principles that made this country great. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of thy heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass, our recent administrations have greatly expanded in size, ye are grown fat, and have instated laws that limit our constitutional freedoms and destroy the capital bases that made this country great. Just think of the Patriot Act, food stamps, and other entitlements going on undeclared wars, civil forfeiture, and the list goes on and on. The prophets warn of many other sins of Babylon, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by the sorceries were all nations deceived. Stand now with thy enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. This clue is also straightforward. Babylon's merchants become great by deceiving all the nations of the earth. Their prophets made them prevail. Incredibly, Babylon's greatest sorcery is the US dollar. The dollar became the world's reserve currency and lifeblood of all international trade after World War II because it was backed by the biggest gold reserves on earth. That all changed in 1971 when Nixon took us off the gold standard, the greatest monetary sorcery ever accomplished. And the nations went along and used the dollar for trade, while we kept on printing money until, as some economists like Peter Schiff put it today, the dollar is not worth the paper it's printed on. 
Because of this, the U.S. could buy and sell the nations of the world, who were all deceived. They give up their wealth and resources for something the Federal Reserve literally creates out of thin air. And so our merchants became the great men of Earth, using financial sorceries like bailouts, stock and bond bubbles, quantitative easing, and our national debt that tops $18 trillion. This is why the prophet Isaiah accurately sees Fed, financial and investment brokers and stock market specialists as astrologers, the stargazers and monthly prognosticators, the sorcerers of Babylon, and in her was found the blood of prophets, and of saints, and of all that were slain upon the earth. The U.S. today is the largest exporter of weapons in the entire world. Babylon sells tools that fuel worldwide bloodshed, and it wages wars covertly or openly seeding destruction on the entire planet. All her wealth and power made the U.S. proud and arrogant exactly as the prophets foretold how much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously. For she saint in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. You have trusted in your wickedness, and have said no one sees me. Your wisdom and knowledge misled you when you say to yourself, I am, and there is none beside me. That is what we call today American exceptionalism. The U.S. fulfills each ancient prophecy of Babylon to the letter, the superpower that has abandoned its sound foundations and turned to sorcery and sin. Do not be deceived, God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, this he will also reap. Babylon's pride, greed, and wrath will lead to the greatest event in human history, war with the great enemy of Babylon, exactly as the prophets foretold. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation, to destroy the whole land. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate. Go north through the end of heaven, the Arctic Pole, and you see Russia, the great enemy of Babylon, the one that according to the Bible will destroy it. This clue is as chilling as the Arctic wind, as it geographically pinpoints the two countries capable of starting World War III. The prophets foretell that, and at the start of this war, Russia will unexpectedly use a very special weapon, the weapon of indignation, against the whole territory of the U.S., a weapon like which the world has never seen. The main question you should ask now is, when will World War III happen, and what exactly is the weapon of indignation? The clues to when this event will happen come from the prophet Daniel. In chapter 11, verse 40, Daniel tells of the two kings who are destined to fight the greatest war in human history at the end times. He calls these two leaders the king of the north and the king of the south. The key to understanding this clue is the fact that in ancient times the birthplace was very important, and this is why Daniel identifies both kings by their birthplace relative to Jerusalem, the place where he had his visions. Vladimir Putin was born in St. Petersburg, Russia, which lies to the north of Jerusalem. Does Putin fulfill the other Bible prophecies about him? And the king shall do according to his will. Putin has absolute power. He controls the media, the military, and the economy of Russia. Neither shall he regard the gods of his fathers, nor regard any god, for he shall magnify himself above all. It is very important to note that gods is not written with a capital letter, because the gods of the fathers Daniel is talking about are the rulers of communist Russia, Lenin, Marx, and Stalin. These and other communist gods reigned over Russia for 80 years. They were practically worshipped, and pictures and statues of them were everywhere. But, as prophecy foretold, Putin distanced himself from communism and blamed these leaders for their sins against Russia and the Russian people. He shall magnify himself above all. Russian media portrays Putin as a brilliant politician and diplomat, a huntsman and judo expert, above the former communist leaders in every way. But in his estate shall he honor the god of forces. 
During his term, Putin has greatly increased Russian military spending. This is his way of honoring the God of forces. Therefore, Vladimir Putin fulfills all Bible prophecies regarding the King of the North. The remaining question is whether Barack Obama is the King of the South. He was born either in Hawaii or Kenya, depending on who you want to believe, both of which, relative to the equator, are to the south of Jerusalem. And in those times there shall many stand up against the King of the South. The Obama administration has managed to antagonize a lot of countries. Russia, China, North Korea, a big part of the Muslim world, including Syria, Egypt, Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen, and the list goes on and on. Unfortunately, it is clear that Barack Obama and Vladimir Putin are the kings of prophecy. This means that their war must start before they leave office, and that is January 2017. The end of Babylon is very, very near, and whether or not they know it, both leaders are on track to fulfill their destiny according to scripture. Because, as Daniel foretold, and at the time of the end, shall the king of the south push at him. The rush to conflict with Russia over Ukraine is not ordinary geopolitics. It's Obama fulfilling his role according to the Bible. In 2014, CIA-backed and funded regime change against the pro-Russian leadership in Ukraine. Because of this, Russia is now in an undeclared war with its eastern neighbor. And just recently, U.S. Army instructors, Humvees, and drones have started arriving in the Ukraine. Russia has warned that arming the Ukrainians could escalate into a real war. Furthermore, when Putin annexed Crimea, the Western powers led by Obama imposed wave after wave of drastic economic sanctions on Russian banking and energy sectors key parts of Russian economy. Alarmingly, economic sanctions have preceded every U.S. war in the 21st century. Russian finances were targeted when the U.S. signed a secret deal with Saudi Arabia to collapse the price of oil from $100 to close to $50 in order to cripple the Russian economy. Russia is dependent on oil exports as 40% of its budget comes from it. That is why the Russian currency, the ruble, lost 50% of its value since August 2014. Russian citizens can now only buy half the stuff they used to afford. As the country goes bankrupt, Putin will have the perfect excuse to fulfill his role according to the Holy Bible. Just like a wild animal cornered and threatened, Russia will attack suddenly and without warning. These are the last months, maybe weeks, before the Russian attack that destroys Mystery Babylon, Obama's America. The Bible warns us about the Russian attack using the weapon of indignation, and how Babylon will feel the fury of this terrible weapon unlike anything the world has ever seen before. This weapon will hit our entire country and all our defenses will be in vain. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven, and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet the spoilers come unto her. This weapon leaves the military helpless because of equipment malfunction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. Their might hath failed. The broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken, and her high gates shall be burned with fire. She hath given her hand. Her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down. Because the spoiler is come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken, every one of their bows is broken. And this weapon leaves Babylon silent and in darkness. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. There is only one weapon capable of paralyzing the U.S. military's equipment and leaving an entire continent in total darkness and painful silence. Vladimir Putin's weapon of indignation is an electromagnetic pulse. One single weapon will cause the fall of Babylon America. 
An EMP, or electromagnetic pulse, is an electromagnetic discharge that fries sensitive circuits in seconds. Military command and control, as well as most of the high-tech equipment, is very vulnerable to an EMP. One blast will reduce our army to fighting using weapons that existed before the 1900s, and it's irreversible. Our entire lives are built around the use of electricity. We use home appliances, drive around in cars with electric circuits. We warm ourselves and feed ourselves thanks to electricity. It's what keeps our society together and our loved ones safe and secure. All of this will be gone in the blink of an eye after an EMP. This weapon fulfills Bible prophecy to the letter. It's swift, has a huge area of effect, and knocks out our military, breaks the hammer of the earth, and help will not come anytime soon. And the kings of the earth lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, Babylon has fallen. In one hour is thy judgment come. And all it takes is not 100, not even 50, but just one warhead to be detonated above the US, and the effects would be irreversible and Russia has over 8,500 warheads, most of them aimed at the US. As the prophets predicted, the fall of Babylon America will be caused by an EMP device strategically detonated at an altitude of 20 miles above the surface of our country that will permanently cripple our power grid and plunge America into silence and darkness. The attack can happen at any time, without any signs or warning, and the biblical king of the north, Vladimir Putin, is training his soldiers for the coming attack. Since Putin came to power, the number of nuclear drill exercises targeting the US skyrocketed. The king of the north is preparing to fulfill his role according to the holy book. The effects of the EMP will destroy America as we know it. Looters, famine, disease, and death. Babylon America will fall exactly as the scriptures predicted. Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be burned with fire. Without electricity, hospitals or pharmacies will not be able to function. People will not be able to take their necessary medication. Pandemics and diseases will break out because there will be no waste and garbage collection. The U.S. will be plunged into the Dark Ages. As the supply of food dwindles, famine will start setting in, and with it, looting, food riots, and desperate people. Some of our countrymen riot over discount electronics on Black Friday. Can you imagine what would happen after an EMP when all the power is out? There will be no police, no law, no health care, no firefighters, no help it will descend into chaos and confusion. Our great cities shall be burned with fire. Unfortunately, just like the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, this too is inevitable. As the prophet Jeremiah says, And it shall be, when thou hast made an end of reading this book, that thou shalt bind a stone to it, and cast it into the midst of Euphrates. And thou shalt say, Thus shall Babylon sink, and shall not rise from the evil that it will bring upon her. But unlike the total damnation of those sinful cities in which barely anyone was left alive, this time the Lord offers us a timely warning and a chance to save ourselves and our loved ones, as our Lord says through his prophets. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Besides this, you know the time which the hour has come for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. Our Lord has ensured that the ones who believe his word will survive the coming storm. Only the ones who will have been prepared will be granted salvation. That's why I'm telling you all of this. You have to put yourself and your family first, because nobody else will. I have spent weeks looking for solutions, reading countless books, watched all the documentaries I could find, asked every survival expert for help, 
and I still couldn't find the right answers. Everything seemed to be revolving around our needs for power. But there are the people out there that are already prepared for this coming attack, even though they don't know it is coming. People in remote areas all around the world that live comfortably without electricity. People up in the European mountains, or in the plains of Asia, or in deep forests of the Amazon, or in the desert of Africa. These people live with no electricity, and they live happy, comfortable lives. They are proof that we can live in a post-EMP world if we know how. They hold the answer of living without electricity, but nobody really needed to know their secrets until now. These methods and techniques are passed down from generation to generation and protected as a legacy. They don't like outsiders in their communities and are suspicious of newcomers, but I managed to gain their trust. After seeing the revelations of God sent to us by His prophets, I knew I had to do whatever it takes to survive. So I left on a three-year journey to find the solution of saving myself, my family, and all other Christians and patriots who understand the revelations of the Bible. With an open heart, I went to these communities and requested shelter. They sensed I came with good intention, merely to learn from them, and accepted me as an apprentice. Day and night, I took notes and listened to their stories. I have discovered ways to keep food from spoiling without a fridge, and the secret to store heat-sensitive medicine, and surprising places where you can find drinkable water enough to sustain your family for months. Even if you live in a barren region, I learned how anyone, and this includes seniors and kids, can survive without electricity. The only condition is they need to know what to do when the power goes out. Sure, it wouldn't be the luxurious life you are used to, but it does have its comforts and most importantly, your family, your loved ones, and even your entire community can stay alive. There is a true biblical solution to the coming disaster. After years of going from community to community, I realized that this information must be made available to every family out there. Therefore, I wrote a special program based on everything I've learned to prepare anyone for the coming war and the great tribulations to follow. This program is designed to help all true believers make it out alive and thrive during the coming dark ages. Make no mistake, what's coming will be worse than any Katrina, Sandy, or any other natural disaster you will ever face. And there will be no place to hide. Knowledge, preparation, and faith are the only things that will let you get through. And I have named this survival package Alive After the Fall. This program is designed to help you and your loved ones survive the effects of the weapon of indignation. It shows you not just how to survive, but also how to flourish, thrive, and build a community after an EMP hits Babylon America. Remember, this prophecy will come true before the start of 2017, and the fall of Babylon sudden and devastating, just like the Holy Scriptures predicted. Who among us could have predicted 9-11? But, unlike that tragedy, the Lord warned that this disaster is coming. He gave us the time and explained in great detail how the fall of Babylon America will happen. And those who are unprepared will suffer greatly. Hunger, frostbite, disease will be everywhere. As with all the other prophecies that have come true, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Here is a preview of what you will get with the Alive After the Fall program. Ways to grow and cook food without using any power. You'll discover how to prevent your food and medicine from spoiling even without using a fridge. You and your loved ones will not be among those who worry about their next meal or slowly starve to death. There are seven must-have medicine supplies that you can use to keep away 89% of the diseases that will run rampant after the fall of Babylon. If you stockpile these medicines, you will have an easy-to-stash treasure that will be worth more than gold after the EMP. You'll discover how to assemble a Faraday cage. This simple device will shield your electronics from the EMP. 
This device is sold on the black market for more than $969, and I will show you how to assemble one by using common parts lying around in your kitchen in just 10 minutes of your time. And I'll show you what five vital electronics you need to keep functioning after the EMP strike by using your Faraday cage. Missing out on any one of these could mean you and your loved ones would be left without heat or water during the coming catastrophe. There will be other survivalists and preppers out there, and restoring some basic communication will be key to survival. I'll show you how to pick the perfect safe spot and proven home protection strategies and traps that are guaranteed to keep any looter out of your home. How to make sure your car still runs, even though EMP fries car engine circuits. When disaster strikes, you will need to travel to the safest possible spot. And believe it or not, this is just a very brief summary of what this package includes. And if you get Alive After the Fall right now, you will also receive two free exclusive reports filled with tips and recommendations to help you survive the darkest possible scenarios for World War III. Fallout, Surviving the Nuclear Attack, is a special report that features five myths about a nuclear attack most people believe and how following common knowledge could cost you your life what you should do in the first seconds, minutes, and hours of a nuclear attack in order to minimize exposure to radiation. You will also discover how to treat radiation sickness and help those around you who are suffering from it. How to tell clean water and foods apart from those that have been contaminated so you and your family will be fed and safe in the aftermath of the attack. The simple quick fixes you can use to turn your home into an atomic shelter using common and cheap items. You never want to leave the safety of your house after the blast and expose yourself to radiation. Psychological preparation so you and your loved ones know exactly how to keep a clear mind and focus on surviving and thriving during the apocalypse. All of this information is designed to keep you safe from mankind's most destructive weapon. The second report is called Chemical Attack Survival, and inside you will find how to identify a chemical weapon attack, and how to isolate the particular chemical used. In the first moments of a chemical attack, it is vital to identify what just hit you and know how to minimize the effects on your body. How to create a survival plan for you and your family based on cutting-edge military science. This will ensure everybody knows what to do and how to do it fast as this terrible scenario unfolds. How to create survival gear for chemical attacks using household items. This information is vital if you lack the right equipment and there is no time to get it. The medicine you need to stock up in order to give first aid to victims of a chemical attack. This information has already saved countless lives in conflict zones where toxic gas has hit civilian areas. When you get alive after the fall, besides both of those bonuses, you'll also be getting unlimited access to the members area. This is where I and my team of survivalists are ready to answer any question at any time regarding your survival needs. We will be there to help you if you need any clarification on anything. Now let me ask you this. How much do you think having the right knowledge and preparation will be worth after the fall of Babylon America? To have the power to protect and save your family. Even to rebuild your community during the end times. Food, water, shelter. You'll have it. Think about all the useless stuff you spend money on. And think of all the preparations people have for any normal disasters. The thousands of dollars they spent on stuff that will be worth nothing when the weapon of indignation strikes. Everything will become useless in a matter of seconds after an EMP hits if you don't know exactly what to do. I have spent over 16 months developing this one-of-a-kind course. And that's not counting the years of research put in. You'll never have to spend money on any prepping material anymore. Just think about the amount of money you're spending just on food. The average stockpile for a family of four for only three months cost about $1,700. That's just three months. If you truly want to be secure, you probably need at least a seven-year supply. And it can all go to waste if you don't know the right things to do. And it's not only about the money. Think of all the time and effort you're putting into it. The information contained inside is much more useful than what some expert preppers charge for their knowledge. $500 at the minimum.
because this is hands-on, hard-earned, real-life experience and knowledge from those who live happy, comfortable lives off the grid. The thing is, I have dedicated this website to true patriots and Christians. It's not about the money. Money will become useless when Babylon America falls. And this website is my way of repenting for any sins I may have committed. That is why I only need the money to keep this website up and functional so this vital information gets to the people who need it and who truly believe in the sacred words of the Holy Scriptures. I want to make sure each and every one of them has a chance to survive the coming storm. And that's why I'm offering the Alive After the Fall program for the viewers of this presentation for just $37. The only way to get it is to click the Add to Cart button now. Keep in mind, your purchase will keep this website running and help spread the knowledge of the coming catastrophe so that many more will be saved. This investment is for a good cause, as it will help me spread the knowledge to survive Putin's weapon of indignation to other Christians and patriots. And you will gain the knowledge to survive not only the EMP, but also food shortage, mass pandemic, natural disasters, and violent riots. You can only get the Alive After the Fall program here if you click the Add to Cart button now. This course will not be available anywhere else. What I haven't told you is that I'm not sure how much longer this presentation is going to be available. This website has already been hacked twice. I don't know by whom and I don't know why. But my mission has remained the same. Let people know what's coming and get them to prepare. As any good Christian would, I'm willing to take all the risk here and give you my no questions asked money back guarantee for a full two months. Here's what it's about. Go through the course. Read it. See if you find it helpful and send us any questions or any kind of advice that you might have. When you're done, I want you to be 100% safe, secure, and happy about your investment. If for any reason at all you want to get your money back, you will get it ASAP in as little as 48 hours guaranteed. You don't even have to answer any questions. Your refund is just one step away if you truly want it. Simply send me a quick email located in the members area. In the next two days, you will get a full refund, no questions asked. That is how much faith I have in this guide. And I'm sure you will be thankful and completely satisfied with your investment. You now know the dark secret hidden in the last chapters of the Holy Book. Therefore, you can't just stand by and do nothing. Throughout history, all those who have not listened to the words of the Bible prophets have suffered immensely. Ask yourself this, who will you turn to when this prophecy comes true? Do you know what to do when the lights go out forever? Because there will be no help coming. You and your loved ones will have to get through only by relying on your knowledge and skills. And by using this program, you will discover the knowledge that will help you keep calm and collected during the fall of Babylon when our society will shatter into a million pieces. When the rest of your neighbors surrender to panic and confusion, you could become a true leader and help your community survive and thrive. The way I see it, you have three options. You can hope this biblical prediction does not come true and do nothing. But as I have showed you, the prophecy is being fulfilled word by word, and the fall of Babylon America will happen before the 1st of January, 2017. After seeing everything else I've showed you, is this a chance any true Christian can take? I'm sorry I have to say this now, but doubting the words of the Holy Scripture is a sin in the eyes of our Lord. Can you truly think of yourself as a responsible husband or father and not do anything it takes to keep your family safe? I must urge you to start preparations as soon as possible. Doing nothing is the worst possible solution, and I can only pray for those who choose this option. When the EMP hits, I'd hate to be the father who looks into his children's eyes, powerless because he had no preparation in place, overwhelmed with grief, knowing he had the solution in hand and time to prepare, but did absolutely nothing. Could you live with yourself knowing you have received a powerful warning? That maybe even God had sent you to this website to make a choice, and you chose the wrong option? Could you tell that to your wife and kids as the lights go out everywhere and panic sets in? Also, keep in mind that this documentary may not be here next time you click. What you have just seen is very real and dangerous. 
and the church, CIA, FEMA, or any other state agency will ban their site on the spot if they find it. Or you could try to prepare all by yourself. Go through months of research and painful planning. But as I have showed you, this is time you do not have. The prediction will come true before the 1st of January 2017. You don't have any time to spare, and the time to start preparing is now. Or you could get the Alive After the Fall special program right now. It's the only real solution to the biblical disaster that's coming. If you want your family to be secure, to have warmth, food, water, and all the other things they need, then click the Add to Cart button and get this program now. Tomorrow may be too late. It's time to make a choice. America will fall, and it will drag down with it everything you took for granted. Your current lifestyle, the comforts of life. The EMP will become part of human history by 2017, and it will turn the American dream into a nightmare. And this is the only real solution for you and your loved ones. Alive After the Fall is available only if you click the Add to Cart button below right now. You'll have a full year worth of support from me and my team. And to take away any doubts, you have a 60-day trial period. Simply send me an email located in the members area in the next 60 days, and I'll give you a full refund, no questions asked. Can you really afford to ignore all the prophecies that have come true? The final prophecy for America is about to unfold. You can see its signs for yourself. They're all over the news. Go check it out for yourself. And if you don't act now, I can only pray for you when the prophecy comes true. When the EMP strikes, how much would you regret by not making the right choice today? God bless you, and God bless America. Still here? Let me just answer some of the most common questions you might have about the biblical prophecies and the Alive After the Fall program. Why should I prepare for the end of Babylon America if it is going to be wiped out according to the scripture? You are right in asking this. Judging by the words of the prophets, 80% of Americans will not make it. That is because they have been ignorant of the prophecies and did not prepare. In the words of the prophet Matthew, but the ones who endure to the end will be saved. This program is designed to keep you alive and endure until the glory of the second coming of our Lord and Savior. If all electronics and even networks like communication channels are down, why do I need a Faraday cage to store my electronics? As you probably know, you are not alone. The prepping community is constantly growing. As fellow Christians and patriots, we will help each other survive. Having the possibility of communicating via radio can save your life in a post-apocalyptic world. Also, a Faraday cage isn't built to put your iPhone in it. You can store plenty of useful things, like a flashlight or spare parts for cars. What are the immediate effects of the EMP, Putin's weapon of indignation? Despite popular beliefs, planes won't be falling down from the sky, and some cars, including newer models, might still work. However, some effects will be much worse. An EMP blast won't have any direct effects over the people. There will be no visible or noticeable explosion. But every aspect of your life will be changed forever. The first death wave would come moments after the EMP, and in a matter of one week, our civilization would turn into a primitive and barbaric world. Time is wasting. If the words of the prophets and all the facts I have showed you are not enough to convince you to make such a puny investment, then I can only pray for you and your soul. You already know this may be your only chance of making it out alive. Click the Add to Cart button, invest in Alive After the Fall, and get the safety and peace of mind this one-of-a-kind survival guide will offer. Remember, whatever a man sows, this he will also reap.